kayfabe i got a uh, former underground up and comer here in the pro wrestling scene i got really good i really got my bumps down i got my psychology down well been thinking about doing a channel doing breakdowns just trying to see what everyone's saying out there you can look on my channel now i got a hour-long video talking about my greatest match greatest day of my life check it out you guys want to see some videos I'll, I'll break stuff down let me know my opinion on new style pro wrestling matches they look so much more packaged nowadays and worked really not really thought out back in the 90s when i was coming up you know becoming a pro and everything matches had a much more unique feel each match i haven't really been watching the indie scene maybe the indie scene and the japanese style isn't suffering the same symptoms as the american style is but it's just getting really packaged nowadays where you can tell the wrestlers aren't really putting much thought into what they're doing it's, there's no shine they don't go through the seven steps correctly it's it's horrible if you like the stuff now go watch stuff from the 90s you'll really like that stuff anyway what do you guys think leave your opinion Black Albert Bell, swing at Austin, six house back. Look at Austin. Austin with that chair. Professional wrestling is a fight, so I used to have a real problem with it when I used to have my matches before the, the lesson form would ask me When's your next fight and they used to really bother me and I used to really criticize them about that But as I became more experienced in the game, it's true. It's supposed to be a fight If you if you watch a match, that's exactly how it's supposed to go And the one thing that used to always mess with me when I couldn't put my matches together correctly in the beginning is fatigue it's a story of a fight and there's fatigue in between where the rest start getting more and more degraded until the very end they have their big adrenaline rush after the double down and then one of them surges all the way home right either one cuts them off at the end and takes it or the one that's supposed to win barrels through and pushes through and then adrenaline pump dump gets them the victory in the end because it's all a fight and if it's supposed to look like a fight and if it looks like a fight then they're doing it right if not it's not a professional wrestling match Kale Sonnen I used to listen to that guy, all respect to Cheo, but let me believe me when I tell you he has no idea what he's talking about when he talks about professional wrestling and how he thinks he understands how it works. He has no idea what he's saying. I had to stop watching him. I used to get so pissed off at the stuff he would say about professional wrestling. Prime example, when he talks about the call out and fighters in MMA, in which I love MMA, but to the MMA stuff, he'd be like, when you do a fight, and make sure you call out the right person. Don't waste it after you win. It doesn't work like that in professional wrestling because in professional wrestling, it's you are a specta the spectators are there for the spectacle. You're the spectacle, so connect with the spectators. Don't make it about anything else but that. Connect with the spectators. For instance, a heel would say something at the expense of the spectators, like, I won in spite of all of you, screw you, ah. boom done reinforce your character a face would say something like because of the fans i was able to overcome this challenge and we got through this together boom reinforce your character don't listen but let me make myself clear if you put the letter s in front of hitman you've had my exact all right i don't think Brett we Hart. have to go there i don't think we have to go there at all brett you and me are alike in a lot of ways you say you're the excellence of execution i live it every day of my life the problem with you is you always cared what these people thought. Stone Cold never gave a rat's ass about anybody. Brett, if you ever do come back, and I hope you do, son, we're going to get in this same ring, and somebody's going to get their ass whipped, and Austin 316 says it's going to be your ass, and that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold said so. And Stone Philadelphia Cold. sucks! Alright, what's this channel about? Well, this channel is about professional wrestling, but it's not your typical fan channel. It's going to be a uh, channel for professional wrestlers. People that want to become professional wrestlers. I was fortunate enough to achieve my dream and become one at 23 years old back in 2004, 2005. And this is to for me to impart all the knowledge I gained in the 15 years it took me to get there from 9 to 23 years old. So nothing wrong with being a fan, 
but this isn't a fan channel. Of course, I'm a fan first above all, but this is for those out you, out of you out there that want to become professional wrestlers, which I will teach you everything about spots, psychology, the steps of a pro wrestling match, how to interact with fans, what the spectacle is, promos, what's wrong, what's right, what's good, what's bad. I have a lot of knowledge to give. So if you want to learn about professional wrestling and you're trying to become a professional wrestling and that's your current journey, subscribe to this channel because we're going to have plenty of stuff to talk about. See you guys in the next video. Allow The Rock to introduce you to his family. And The Rock's family are the millions of Rock's fans. King, this is amazing. Triple H. The Rock knows that you are back there listening. So The Rock says, if you have an ounce, an inch, a shred of hair on your ass, then you will come on out here, go one-on-one -on -one with the great one. Wait a minute, what you saying? One, two, this on? Uh-oh. <laughs> Professional wrestling is not fake. Professional wrestling is a spectacle. Like I said before, this is a professional wrestling channel for professional wrestlers and prof aspiring professional wrestlers. Anybody out there uh, calling professional wrestling fake? Well, before I address them, it's important for everybody else, all the you know wrestlers here. It's important they understand that it's a spectacle because unlike other sports, which it is a sport, I call it more of an art form than anything, but it's definitely a sport, is that the fans come there for the spectacle. The spectacle is for the spectators. So it's very important that you respect that and then you involve the fans because the fans want to be involved and it's your job to involve them. You build the match right, you put moves where they need to be, then that shit is gonna look fucking good. But to address the original point, people out there calling professional wrestling fake, I think you really just don't understand what you're looking at. It went over your head. It'd be like if you were telling somebody that, hey, I like movies and they responded with, uh, yeah, but you know movies are fake, right? It'd be like, what? Listen, professional wrestlers, while you're out there trying to become the greatest of all time, remember, you gotta become the greatest fan of all time first. Be a fan first. That's what professional wrestling is about. It's very important that you're a fan of the sport because more than any other sport, it relies on how well you can connect with the fans. That's why wrestlers like Hulk Hogan, just horrible wrestlers like that, are able to get so big because professional wrestling is about being the best draw that you can. It kind of matters how good you are in the ring because a lot of people are going to talk trash to you if you suck. But if you want to be skilled in the ring and also be a draw, for instance, like Eddie Guerrero, it's important that you're a fan first because then you understand what the fans want because you know what they want because you're a fan and you know what you want and you want what they want. So make 100% certain when you're out there doing your matches and putting together your moves and understanding all the psychology and all that, that you do it in mind with connecting with the fans and doing what the fans want. Love the sport and it'll love you back. Professional wrestling requires you to make every fan your fan every single match. Uh, to expound more on the video I made yesterday about being a fan first, the way you do that is by your moves and specifically in order of importance are your bumps and the actual moves that you hit. I can't tell you how many times I wrestled guys that were less advanced than I was and my bump was what put the freaking move over because they didn't do the moves that well. Cause, and you're going to start having matches, you up and comers, when you go into an arena and nobody knows who you are. You want to know how you pull those fans in with your freaking bumps and your freaking moves. And being a fan first is important because the more pro wrestling that you watch, you're going to see moves hit well and you're going to see moves hit like trash. And you go into that ring ready to prove a point because you're going to say, this is how you're supposed to hit these freaking moves. Pissed off at guys that don't know how to take a bump correctly. But you're going to take those bumps, right? And then once you do, you're going to be able to pull the fans in and they're going to love you every single time. You're going to give them attention and they're going to pay attention because you're hitting the moves they want to see because at the end of the day, professional wrestling fans are there to see good freaking professional wrestling. Be a fan first and wrestle in that ring like you are. Professional wrestling, don't buy into the lies. Like I was telling you guys yesterday, use your moves to pull the fans into the match. And then once you do that, listen, either use it to establish yourself as a hero or a villain. And it's really simple how you do that. The hero gives the fans what they want to see and the villain defies the fans. The one mistake that I made when I was coming up in wrestling is that I thought I had to match this professional wrestling image of the big jack dude like Goldberg or something. And I never had to do that. I could have made it as a little skinny dude because later I realized if I would have just established myself as the underdog, people would have wanted to cheer the heck out of me every time that I won. Or if I would have been talking trash the whole time, they would have hated me because I would have been beating all the guys that should have been winning. And how's this little skinny dude beating everybody? So for all you guys and gals out there that think you have to be this one way or the other before you can make it a professional wrestling, it's not true. All you got to do is either establish yourself 
yourself as somebody that the fans can cheer for and give them what they want, or you're the person that's defined the fans what they want to see, and they'll hate you for it, and make that shit look good, and you'll be all right. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, just something I wanted to tell you guys. I've been thinking about it today. Is We've been talking about moves a lot lately. Once you get actually into the business, you're going to start to notice that it isn't as straightforward as you just go in the ring and do the moves that you want and you get out. There's going to be certain moves that you want to do, perhaps, and then later in the show, if you're on the undercard, you're not going to be able to do them because people later in the card are going to do those moves and you're going to steal their shine. Remember, the moves that you choose are the moves that are going to get put out to other federations and they're going to pick you based on those moves, how they fit in their card. So this is a bit of an advanced thing. Think about this later on. But once you get into the biz, remember, your moves are going to be very specially picked for certain parts of the show an incident that comes to mind is the teddy hart incident back in 2003 i want to say where he did a bunch of unplanned moves in the middle of the show that he wasn't supposed to do and stole shine from the main event and the all the wrestlers in the back after the match was over kicked him out of the show him and jack evans i'll, I'll put a link to it in, in the comments in the beginning of your career you're going to be very packaged but don't let that stop you do whatever moves you want to do and figure it out later moves are going to pull the fans in so focus on your moves above all and you'll be all right Professional wrestling moves. Here we are about this topic again. So we've been talking about using your moves to pull the fans in. And yesterday we were talking about which moves you want to get together as part of your packaged product so you can send it out to bookers and they can figure out where to put you in the show because they're going to pick you based on which moves you do and how they fit in their show. Well, today we're going to talk about another aspect, maybe the most important in the Golden Room professional wrestling. Use your moves to put others over because that's what professional wrestling is all about. It should be about putting others over, not yourself. It's about selling people. That's why everybody hates Hulk Hogan. Remember when Jeff Jarrett laid down for him in that famous Vince Russo shoot interview afterward? That's because Hogan refused to lay down for Jeff Jarrett. Be the guy that puts others over because that's what this business is about. It's about doing the best moves that you can and buff it as well as you can to make others look good, not you. The old attitude of professional wrestling is there for a reason. Any good wrestler can make a broomstick look good. And it needs to be you. Put us over and you'll be all right in this business. You'll go far. And if you don't, you'll be forgotten and you'll be pushed out. Remember what happened to Teddy Hart. The chosen one has always been closer, closer to Russo than any other performer in WCW. Hogan will not have a plan. He will not have a backup. It will be Sequoia Freeze. Mono on mono. Hogan and Jarrett for the World Heavyweight Championship. I, I knew he'd never, ever miss a big pay-per-view payday. What's Jeff doing? Hang on a minute. What's Jeff doing? Look at Russo is holding the belt up like, do you want the belt? Pin the man. Jarrett's down. I don't know. And Hogan is as shocked as what we are. What in the world? Jeff Jarrett. What a, what a return. Is this your deal, Russo? Wow. That's why this company's in the damn shape it's in because of bullshit like this. My God, this is real life. One, two, three. Oh. We've got a new world champion. I, I guess we do. Good God Almighty, are we gonna have some splendid to do tomorrow? Now what? I don't know. It's real life here, fans. More real than I thought it would Three be tonight. Three weeks ago. I left WCW. I really don't need this shit. But let me tell you the reason why I did come back. I came back for, to the guys behind that curtain that give a shit about this company. And let me tell you who doesn't give a shit about this company. That goddamn politician Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan tonight wants to play his creative control card. That meant that tonight, when he knew it was bullshit, he beats Jeff Jarrett. Hogan got his belt and he went the hell home from here on in. That belt don't mean shit. And Hogan, you big bald son of a bitch, kiss my ass. This sport is a spectacle, and the fuel that is powering this spectacle is heat. So generate as much of it as you can. Your moves are not as important as your heat. Professional wrestling is not all about your moves. I have to make this one point a counterpoint to focusing on your moves too much. Yes, they are important. Yes, they are what makes you great and will make you the greatest of all time. I used to have this problem when I used to have wrestling matches in the beginning where I would have a lot of moves in my match and they would be really good and then I would watch it back and the crowd would be flat the entire time. Then I would do have another match later and I would have good moves in it too and the crowd would be loving it the entire time and reacting to everything I was doing. It took me a while to figure out what it was that I was doing wrong, but the thing is, is you need to use your moves to generate heat. You have to be very careful to not fall into this trap of focusing too much on your moves and not generating any heat with them. Your match could become spotty, could become an exhibition of moves and you don't want that. You use your moves to generate heat. A good face knows how to use their moves to give the fans what they want, that is define the heel, and a good heel knows how to do what the fans don't want, and that's stopping the face. And that's the bottom line. For those who believe, the champions 
You don't need an explanation. For those who don't believe, no explanation will do. Anytime I talk about pro wrestling, I feel like I'm kind of in a promo, to be honest with you. Don't know what I was talking about before when I ended the channel last, last video, but uh, right now it's on the topic of the night is character building, character building, promos, promos, all that K5A wonderful stuff that is kind of advanced, but this is a professional wrestling channel for professional wrestlers, so we talk about advanced shit here. If you want to be the greatest of all time, your character building is a must, which I will go into detail later. It's just understanding the highs and the lows and the necessity, the necessity of one and the other. I will get back to you guys. And by get back to you, I mean I'm going to start doing freaking promos myself and posting them on the channel myself so you can hear what the heck I'm talking about. I'm also going to start making videos with examples from real life, but I'm just going to start doing the damn thing myself so you can know exactly what I mean when I say how to do a promo correctly. Just looking for a place to post up so I can actually start filming these things. I've been moving around a lot, so I'll get back to you guys on this one. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? It's been a while. I haven't posted in a few weeks, months, probably. You know, I haven't posted since I was, you know, at that beach where I was talking about pro wrestling every day. It was great. Uh, I've been kind of on hiatus. I've been busy with stuff, but uh, big life changes just came up, so I'm going to start posting on this channel again. Next video I want to make is a long video covering the ever-famous seven steps of professional wrestling match that nobody has covered correctly from what I've seen from a quick YouTube search. So I will be providing a proper guide to the seven steps of pro wrestling with examples and you know all my wisdom as i like to say look out for that i'll be seeing you guys soon peace